Silk production begins with the breeding of silkworms. Female silk moths lay up to 500 eggs at a time and dies shortly after. Eggs are incubated before they hatch into larvae, which are kept in boxes on layers of gauze and are fed chopped mulberry leaves for about six weeks until they reach a length of approximately three inches. Now the silkworms are ready for cocooning. As the silkworm spins its cocoon, it secretes a type of natural gum called saracen, which hold the filament together. Each filament can measure between 1,000 to 3,000 feet in length. The process of spinning the cocoon involves the silkworm rotating its body in a figure-eight motion, which it does up to 300,000 times over a period of a few days. After the silkworms have finished spinning their cocoons, the next step is to boil the cocoons in water. This boiling process serves two purposes. First, it softens and dissolves the natural gum, which holds the cocoon together. This step ensures that the silk thread can be extracted from the cocoon without damaging the fibers. The process also dulls a natural chemical called saracen, which would cause the cocoons to harden and result in a less soft fabric. Once boiled, the cocoons are unraveled into a single continuous strand that can be several hundred yards long. These strands are then entwined to form silk thread. Finally, the silk thread is woven into a fabric for commercial use. Silk is the most luxurious and sought-after fabric in the world, and it has been prized for its beauty and quality for thousands of years. Despite the passage of time, the method of producing silk has remained largely unchanged. This exquisite fabric is not only incredibly lustrous and soft to the touch, but also lightweight and remarkably durable. In fact, a single strand of silk has comparable strength to a filament of steel.